Today we show you how to get ahead of having all your files safe, secure, and in one location using the Google Drive app. We are less than 100 subscribers away from hitting 1K, so make sure you press that button. I'm Jordan R from the Training and Support Team, and I'll show you how to best take care of your files in this episode of For all of those using an OCDSB laptop or desktop, you might have seen a prompt show up on your screen to sign into Google Drive. Well, now once you download the app, it will show up on your file explorer where the P, S, and Q drives are so you can easily save your files to Google Drive for even easier access. If you see the prompt to get started, select sign in. If you don't see the prompt, well, just go to your Windows icon and scroll down till you see Google Drive in your apps. Now select Get Started, and now let's sign in. Make sure to use your OCDSB email and password to log in and then select Sign In. Now you should see this. Success! Some days you can't see your feet, but they're there. Now when you select the file folder icon on the nav bar at the bottom, you should see Google Drive, or G, available. Just make sure to have your default browser set to Chrome. If you don't, here's how to do that. Just select the Windows button, select Settings, then select Apps, then Default Apps, and under Web Browser, select Google Chrome, and you're all set up. Now to move files you want to keep or have accessible is just a click, a control, and hover away. Yeah, I can fly. Open up your file explorer or folder icon once again. Select this PC and now you'll see Google Drive in the list of available folders. To move files is as easy as pi. And I'm not talking 3.14159263535 and so on. <gasps> Just open up your S or P drive and select the files you would like moved over. To select multiple files and folders, just hold down control and click all that you need. When you're ready, Release the control button and now click and hold and hover your content towards Google Drive. As you continue to hover over any folder in Drive, it will automatically open up the next folder inside. Best to try this with one file first so you can get the hang of it. Right. When you're all done, you can now access your files right here. Or if you happen to open up Chrome and go to Google Drive there, all your files will be right here waiting for you. And never fear, if this was a little too quick, we also have documentation on all of this in the description of this episode. Well, that's it for your weekly upgrade. I hope your day is as fine as a nice cup of tea or coffee or whichever you prefer. Or my personal favorite, an ice cap made with chocolate milk. Always serve fresh from your local Tim Hortons. Bye for now.